excuse my odd angle, but as you can see, I have a tall dresser right here. So, uh, and you can tell, I call him Sully because of the bright colors that are on here. And I've already had requests to know, oh my gosh, what are you gonna do with that? How are you gonna do that? How do you blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna kind of show y'all today. This is the base. I primed it, I put the pink on, and then I put a brighter blue on, and then I put a Prussian blue over the top of it. And so now I'm ready to start with the other two, the top colors. And I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna use this transfer from Redesign by Prima, which is so pretty, I love it. I know people are out there going, what in the world are you doing with those wild colors? So, now you see. So what I'm gonna do now, the first one I'm gonna use is gonna be my Wise Owl Anchor because I want it to be a little more blue on the bottom. And then I'm gonna go over the top and kind of drip down with some more impression. So let me just get my cans open here. So the anchor, I don't know if you can tell, but look at what a beautiful blue that is. It's very pretty, kind of a navy color. So because I want this to be diluted, I'm gonna use my trusty water bottle. And I'm gonna spray first the area that I want because I don't want it to be a solid. And then I'm gonna kinda of go over it and just kinda of work it. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is really gonna be kind of a blended piece anyway. So I'm just kind of slapping it on there because I'm gonna I'm gonna do a few more layers and then I'm gonna wind up sanding so some of the colors will come through and I like to use the stuff on the lid because I hate to waste anything so as you can see I'm just getting it wet and then I'm just quickly going over it with a little bit. And with your water and your blending, the beauty of shabby furniture, is that you really can't mess it up. You notice it's a little dry, just add a little water. Particularly when you want the undercolors to come through, you just want a thin layer of that color. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'll show you all a close up when I'm mostly done, but this is gonna be really pretty. The water dries pretty quickly, so you want to just make sure that you've got your water bottle handy. And then you just kind of put it on there. If you feel like it dries in a little lumpy patch, just spray a little water on it. This is chalk mineral paint, so it is great. It's extremely um, malleable. As long as you add water to it. So I'm just kind of Putting it on here and see it's a little dark. You probably can't see that. That's a little thick right there. I don't want it to be that thick. So I'm just going to add a little more water and then just kind of spread my brush around and pull the paint where I want it to go. Because you're the boss. You just tell it. I want you to come over here and that's where it will go. And I'm going to put um, put the transfer on there, but I do want the some of the blue to show through. So now I need to get my can. Now a lot of professional people who paint for a living will say, don't use the can. And really you probably shouldn't because what will happen is it will gunk up all around the edge. I use mine pretty quickly. So I do what I want. And when it gunks up and I can't get it close, then I have nobody else to blame but myself. This is not going to be perfect. I want my other colors to show. So I'm just quickly getting it wet and putting my top, the navy that I want on it. And just wrapping it on there. It does not have to be perfect. I will say it 10,000 times. That is the beauty of shabby furniture is that it does not have to be perfect. And then I only want this to be on the bottom portion, so I'm not gonna go to the top yet, so I'm gonna get me a little bit of paint. Just a little dab will do you. Spray my water. 
because like I said, we really need that. And then I'm just kind of layered it where I want it to go. I just want a little bit of, a little bit of the navy on there. So it, it doesn't make, you might be going, wow, that's kind of a crazy thing to do. But when you blend furniture or paint, this is how you have to blend it. You gotta get it wet, you gotta thin it down, because if you don't, then it looks like just a solid coat of paint. And unless that's the look you're going for, you don't want that when it's blended. sometimes beads up so with your brush that's mostly dry just kind of rub it so you don't have any of those little water spots because those are really irritating if you let them dry like that you will always have them you have to sand them out and then you have bald spots and it is really really aggravating so with your dry brush just kind of go over it again that's the beauty of shabby you can't mess it up so you just kind of put it make it where it stays pretty I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do the other side of the bottom of the dresser. Ooh, I don't want to the water. A little bit of paint on my brush. Smack, 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 smack it back. That's all I'm doing. And just kind of blending it where I want it to go. Ooh, a little bit of water. Remember, there's no such thing as too much water. The water will dry. It just helps you to make your paint look like how you want it. So you are the master of the brush. A little more water, you want to paint the legs. Ooh, so pretty, so pretty. And I still want the pink and the bright blue. I still want all of that to kind of shine through. So that's really why I'm thinning it, because if you don't thin it, it's not going to work. All right, so I've got the navy, little blue on the bottom. So you see just a little bit. That didn't take me long at all. I used just a little bit. Now I'm going to go on to the Prussian blue, and I'm not going to change my brush because I'm blending. So it's not really going to matter because it's going to mix up together anyway. So, ooh, this one is watch or leave, but I think it'll work. So this is my Prussian blue. You can't see because I use it a lot. It is such a pretty jewel tone color and every time I paint something in Prussian which is what I did the mermaid couch in I didn't do a video of that but that's where I got the most requests oh you should do a video that was awesome how do you do it so I am looking for a chair that I can make into a mermaid chair to kind of match the couch now this was the 50 50 of water and paint so I'm not going to use my spray bottle because it's already very thin so now what I'm gonna do, because it's already pretty, okay, well you know what, it's not quite as thin as I would like. So I'm just gonna spray my water and I'm just gonna get my paints. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go at it. And again, I want the colors to shine through. So I'm gonna use more water to pull it away from what I've done. You notice I'm doing it quickly. This does not have to be perfect. You can't mess it up. You just slap it on there. That's a little dry, so I'm going to need a little more water just to kind of get it where I want it to be. my colors through there. I can. I'm going to add a little bit more water because I really want that peak to pop through. So I'm just going to get the brush wet and kind of what we call pull the paint away. So I'm simply thinning the Prussian and then I'm moving it down here because 
I don't want to waste it. And I don't want it on my brush. And I'm not going to cover every surface with my impression because it's a blended project. So I really want all of it to kind of flow. So it's just going to be one big piece. So I'm just going to get a little bit more. And I'm just using big slappy strokes. Thin, 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 thin. You cannot thin enough when you're wanting other colors to come through, which I do. So I'm pulling it away. And this actually uses very little paint because you're doing thin layers of each one. So it's really pretty. And it, and it's, it does not actually cost a lot to do something like this. So my point in that is that you don't have to spend a fortune to get a beautiful piece that has a lot of character. You just have to be creative in how you do it. So I'm going to thin it a little bit more because, like I said, I still want that pink. And people may not know that it's pink, but I'm going to sand it before I put the stencil on and before I glaze it. And that's kind of what I call the icing on the cake because we do that last. And then you just kind of step back and check it. Okay, I can still see the variations. I like it. And I'm almost down to where I put the blue. So I'm just gonna finish doing this piece. Just like that. You just rub it wherever you want it, real thick right there when you first put it on. So I want to pull it and then I want to go over where all of my water is dropping because it's going to bead up. And like I said, I'm telling you, I'll tell you again, you won't like the beaded effect. And you're going to be like, oh, that dresser is so pretty, but what's that? And anybody else that comes looks at your dresser, they're going to be, oh, I love that dresser, but what's that? So, again, your brush is your tool. You are the master of the brush. The master of the brush. So, what I'm going to do now, but it's mostly dry, I'm just going to go over it because it's water and it will beat up. You'll think it's dry, but it probably won't be. So, you start at the top. And just kind of go over it. You can't hurt it. You can't, you can't, there's no wrong way to do it. So you just go over it, make sure there's no water spots. And it just kind of smooths it. You can't, when you're blending, you can't smooth too much. So you just blend it, blend, blend. Just like that. All right. Okay, so I fluffed it. I'm gonna fluff it a little bit more just because I'm a, I'm a fluffer. I like to fluff. And it doesn't matter when, you, particularly when your colors are similar. It doesn't matter if you, you know, blend them together and they get everywhere. People are not gonna notice that. What they will notice is if there's drips, if there's spots, um, if there's just, if it's not blended well, and it's obvious. People will notice that. So. You just want to blend, 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 blend. So this is going to be um, the main. I may put another coat of blue on it, and I may put another coat of the other blue. But I don't know. I'm going to let it dry for a little bit, and then we'll look at it and see what I think. That's the beauty of shabbying furniture, is that you decide what you like. So for some people, that might be enough. I'm not really digging it, so I'm gonna let it dry and put a little more paint on it and then see. Also, if I don't like it once I put a little more paint on it, well, then I can just put the brighter colors back on it and make it look like it is now. Again, 
You are the master of the brush. You are the master of the paint. You control it all. So you are king of the furniture. Anyway, thanks again.